I'm going to explain this in a rather unusual way, so just bear with me for a second, and hopefully it'll all make sense. Uh, I'm going to play you a little bit of Led Zeppelin. Here we go. <laughs> so this is Stairway to Heaven. If there's a button in your head, don't be alone there. That's Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin, a song I'm sure lots of you have heard lots of times before. Um, what I'm now going to do is play that to you again, but this time I'm going to play it to you backwards. Okay? So about 15 seconds worth, and uh, just have a listen to this and see what you make of it. Here we go. Okay, so this is the crucial question. Hands up if you heard the word Satan. Okay, that's a good, that's a good couple of dozen if you heard the word Satan. That's great. Um, now, hands up if you heard the words, here's to my sweet Satan. The one whose little path would make me sad, whose power is Satan. Oh, he'll give you, he'll give you 666. There was a little tool shed where he made us suffer sad Satan. Hands up if you heard that. <laughs> just, just me. Right. Um, <laughs> right. Um. <clears throat> <coughs> the extraordinary thing is this. I'm going to play this to you again, and this time, you are all going to hear these words, okay? And I have to promise you two things. First of all, I am not going to cheat. This is going to be such a shock, so surprising, that you will assume that I've cheated or manipulated the sound or, 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 or treated it in some way. What I'm going to play you is exactly what you've just heard. Stairway to Heaven just played backwards. I have to promise you I'm not cheating. Second thing I promise you is you will hear all of these words, okay? So here we go, Stairway to Heaven, backwards, exactly the way you've just heard it, but this time I think that you are all going to hear all of these words. Here we go. So ha hands up, who heard that? <laughs> ah, great, phew, phew. Um, <clears throat> Now, I find this extraordinary. I, I have to promise you again, I haven't cheated there. Um, I just find it extraordinary. I play it to you the first time, and nobody hears anything really. Maybe the odd word, the odd word Satan, but nothing really. And that's because there is nothing there. When you play a song backwards, it's gibberish. And first time round, that's pretty much what we all agreed. But then I played it to you again, and the second time round, you all heard an entire coherent paragraph about Satan in his tool shed. <laughs> so, so how does that work? Well, what changed was the second time I showed you some words. I suggested these words to you. I implanted them in the back of your mind. In fact, more than that, I compelled you to hear them. I said, I promise you you'll hear these words. And so I'd given you a bias, a, a, a prejudice, an expectation. And your brain is this lovely computer that loves to find patterns, that loves to find meaning. Um, you've had so many conversations in noisy corridors or on bad telephone lines where you've only partly heard what's said. 
So your brain has to make sense of that by filling in the gaps. And it does it all the time. And 99% of the time, your brain gets it right. But every so often, if you give the brain bad data, but you give it a big enough bias and a big enough expectation, your brain fills in the gaps, and you end up hearing something that really isn't there. It's only there because you kind of expect to hear it's there. And that's all that happened. You heard something that wasn't there because you were kind of suggested to hear it. And that's the effect. It's incredibly powerful, but that's all it is. So what's this got to do with the Big Bang Theory? Well, scientists are only human too. And scientists have biases and expectations and prejudices. And so when scientists look at data, especially if it's bad data, and remember Hubble's data, Hubble was looking at the most distant objects then known, measuring tiny, tiny shifts in colour. So his data was up for interpretation. So people who didn't believe in the Big Bang, and remember, nearly everybody didn't believe in the Big Bang, would interpret Hubble's data to fulfill their expectation that it still didn't prove the Big Bang. Remember, all the professors didn't believe in the Big Bang, the establishment didn't believe in the Big Bang, the textbooks didn't believe in the Big Bang, Einstein didn't believe in the Big Bang. So people would look at the data and interpret it to fill that prejudice. So as they continued not to have to believe in the Big Bang. 